I just wanted to make this, I just wanted to make this video because it was, it was in my mind and, um, you know, like, basically I just want to talk about Prime in China and his video about Daniel Dumbrell's father, where he kind of like makes the claim that Daniel Dumbrell's father is a nutty professor and I just feel that like that's really unfair and I just want to explain why I think that's unfair. Um, Daniel Dumbrell's father, I haven't looked on his um, personal uh, CV, I haven't stalked him to his university and and whatever, but I am someone who graduated with a Bachelor of Arts degree, I mean you can see it. You can see it in the background. Now Prime in China made a lot of claims about Daniel Dumbrell's father. And um, firstly, I just don't think it's relevant. Like whoever Daniel Dumbrell's father is, it's not really like relevant, I don't think, to try to sort of like, under. I mean, look, obviously you can try to understand Daniel Dumbrell through his father, but to make a video about Daniel Drum Dumbrell's father, um, I think it's a little bit, out of order, like, Daniel Dumbrell's father is a man who has, like, lived his own life. The only connection that he has to Daniel Dumbrell is that he was his son, you know, he raised him, he, he, he was his, his father. I mean, I don't know anything about their, their relationship at all, like, and, and Prime in China doesn't, doesn't either. Um, but look, I just want to get very, very, very specific about what Prime in China says in his in his video. And um, look, where do I fit in the grand scheme of things? Like, do I support Daniel Dumbrell saying that um, Prime in China is a white supremacist? No, of course I don't. I don't see how that is um, a sensible thing to say. Like, I don't see any evidence of, of white supremacy um, in terms of like comments that Prime in China's made, like, I don't see that. I just don't see it. Like, I don't think it's fair of, of Daniel Dumbrell to call um, Prime in China a, a white supremacist or to call Serpent ZA a white supremacist or whatever, you know? So, I mean, if he said that, I haven't followed it very closely, but apparently he said that. So I don't think that's fair, you know? But again, I don't think it's fair to call out um, Daniel Dumbrell's father and say that he's a He's a nutty professor because he's a sociologist. Studying like critical race theory and all this kind of stuff and talking about whiteness and, and all this kind of stuff. There are some people who think it's crazy and you can take very little comments that people make and you can sort of say, well, they're crazy. And, you know, all of these people saying that critical race theory is crazy and all this kind of stuff. Look, I studied gender theory in my first year of university. Number one, I thought it would be easy to get a credit or a distinction. Number two, I thought it would be a big laugh. And um, once I kind of got into it um, and I attended the lectures and I, I, I got the reader back in those days, they probably still do, but I had this big reader. And I was so determined to make fun of it that I, that I read the entire reader. And um, Look, I mean, I'm not going to kind of make all these silly comments about about what I think about every hot topic issue in the world, but um, some of it did sink in, and, and especially as I've gotten older, a lot of this stuff has sunken in. Like, I don't think white people really do understand how privileged they are. I mean, <laughs> we can use this term white people. I mean, look, people who are middle class, people who are white, for example, uh, let's talk about libraries just as an example. I'll just give an example. Libraries. Now, my mum always took me to the library every Saturday. As far as I'm concerned, libraries are good places, they're safe places, they're, they're places where I feel comfortable. There are people in society, um, people that are like maybe a racial minority, people who are like from a socially socio-disadvantaged background. It's not easy for them to just go into a library and study something because they feel uncomfortable there, they feel nervous there. They don't feel like it's a welcoming place for them to learn a skill like a computer skill or whatever, or read about something. They don't feel comfortable there. They don't feel comfortable in so many situations. Like 
um, courts, you know, like, and look, somebody like Daniel Dumbrell's father, who is a sociologist, that's the sort of stuff that he's talking about. He's researching that kind of stuff. If people don't believe that sociology is worthwhile to study, of course, like it's a free, it's a free world. Like you can think that, you can think that. Prime in China can think that, but I think it is worthy of worthy of study. And I think Daniel Dumbrell should be very, very proud that he has a father who is a who is a sociologist. I think sociology studying society is um is really, really interesting. And um, yeah, like calling somebody's father a nutty professor, I think is really out of order. I don't I don't get how that is at all um, relevant. Like his father is a professor. His well, I mean, Prime in China is using that American term. I mean. I don't know what I don't know what particular um, rank uh, Daniel Dumbrell's father is. I mean, whether he's an associate professor or a full professor, or he's a he's a he's a part-time lecturer, or he's a senior lecturer, or whatever. But he's a member of a of a university university faculty. He's a he's a sociologist. He's a professional sociologist, and um, Daniel Dumbrell should be very proud of his father. And um, you know, taking all of this stuff to that level is really going too far. And I think Prime in China did go too far. And and I just wanted to say that, and I just wanted to put it out there. And um, maybe people don't want to hear it and they disagree with me. Well, leave a comment below and uh, leave a thumbs up, leave a thumbs down, <laughs> whatever you feel. And if you don't feel that sociology is worthy of studying or you think it's critical race theory is a lot of nonsense and, and whatever, um, go for it, you know, but but I think it's worthy of study. And I think that these are these are things that are worth talking about. In my personal experience, um, yeah, I've, I've definitely like we all should reflect, you know, on how privileged we are and how we can help each other. You know, not just not just talk about it, but just think about how we can help each other and and encourage each other and and uh, give people the confidence, the self confidence to to be able to um, to do whatever they want to do in their life to fulfill to fulfill their potential. You know, without getting all preachy about it, but but isn't that what it's all about? You know, isn't that what it's all about? And uh, yeah, so that's all I wanted to say. Thank you very much.